This is Perry the Hexarthres, and he does things that convince me that insects have a consciousness. A couple of days ago, I got pinched, which isn't surprising if you know this beetle or watch this video, but the circumstance of why was really interesting. I picked him up as I usually like to do and decide to feed him because I want to look at his golden mouth part, but when I took the jelly away from him, he looked up at me, paused a little bit, and then slowly back down and just pinched my finger somewhat softly. It still hurt, to be honest, but definitely not anywhere close to the amount of damage he could do to me. But all I'm trying to say is it felt really calculated and intentional rather than an instinctual bite. And of course, I had to test it and try to recreate it, which is exactly what I'm doing here now, but he's not biting me this time. Interesting. What's different from last time? Maybe levels of hunger, or maybe he was doing a tree scratching instinct that was just adapted to my finger. I don't even know if Hexarthrius does that. Or does he recognize me as the food giver and when I didn't feed him after he pinched me, did he learn from that? As if it's a strategy that doesn't really work? Or maybe he got mad at me for taking his food away and that's why he pinched me. I don't know, but it surprised me since he rarely bites me even though I bug him a lot. Like, he was actually about to bite me here, but then he stops himself and then relaxes his jaws. It's crazy. Well, Perry's a real good boy. Despite being hailed as the most aggressive stag beetle, something I might be perpetuating a little bit. Regardless, he's been nothing but a gentle giant to me. Now, partly the reason why I made this video is not just because of Perry's fun antics, well, mostly, but also because there's an interesting study that argues for insect consciousness specifically subjective experiences. It's argued that the structures of the midbrain and vertebrates that's in charge of subjectivity is also present in insect brains. Well, at least an analog of it. Now this study is hotly contested, so I'm wondering what your thoughts on this are. Do you think insects have consciousness and do you want me to go on a deep dive on this subject? But for now, Perry says, or am I just anthropomorphizing too much? Thanks to the members, and if you want to see more beetles maybe displaying personalities, check this video out.